Head Start. A head start for poverty's children. Poverty is the great incubator of more poverty. The breeding ground of disease, of alienation, of defeat. Children trapped by circumstances need a way out. Head Start is that way. It's a hand extended in help and love to offset the hatred, the apathy, that beset a child who lives in squalor. How can such a child be given confidence in his own ability and worth? Only with help, the kind of help that Head Start can give. The dingy hallways, the overcrowded rooms, leave their mark on a child for life. Children born into these rooms may grow and never see a book, never see a crayon, never sit down at a table to eat, never have a chance to know the world before they're thrust into it. How can they learn to talk if their parents don't talk to them? To learn to read if they've never seen a book? It's now that they need a head start. For the years up to six are the years that can shape an entire future. Dropouts are made here. A child can be a failure in the first grade. For once he falls behind, it's almost impossible to catch up. These are the children, some from the city, some from the pockets of rural poverty, who are being given a new kind of beginning a head start. From Louisiana to Oregon, from Louisville to Austin, in Yakima and Walla Walla and Wilkes-Barre, New York, more than 2,000 communities have joined in this effort to do something for their children. Churches, schools, Colleges, professional and civic groups, and volunteers by the thousands have organized to give their children a head start. A start that breaks the barriers of race and language and religion. The Office of Economic Opportunity is working with local communities as Head Start moves forward. Preschool classes are not new, but they are new for the children of poverty. You know how to put your sweater up, Carol. See? Yeah. Yeah. Now look, it's all in it. It's good, and it has a nice look there for you. Fine. Fine. Shall we try one? You think you can hang on one foot? I see if we can put it on the arm. Would you like to walk around? Kathy, would you like to take Jerry around and see what he'd like to do today? You go with Kathy. She's one of our teachers. In the first summer, more than a half million children came to Head Start. Keith, that tells who you are. Now we will know exactly who you are by looking at your face. Now you can look in Watts, in San Juan, in San Francisco, 
and in the hills of Appalachia. Poverty knows no geography. The children in Manchester, Kentucky may have more air and space, but their deprivation and their needs are the same as those of children on the roof of an East Harlem church. In many ways, they're like all children. Some are shy, some are talkative. Some angry. Some are bold and curious. And some are remarkably skillful. But these are the children of poverty with special needs that only special help can satisfy. In Head Start, plays more than fun. It has a purpose. A child needs activities that challenge his ability and give him a sense of accomplishment. in front of the other. I'm going to let go. Can I hold your hands at a time right. to help you? All right. Very nice, Juan. Well, wonderful. Now let's try it with the ball. Ready? Poverty means not having the experience that other children can have. There are few things to play with, to pound or to paint, to take apart or to put together. Everyone learns by doing. up to a child as he explores how things look and smell and sound and feel. child learns how things act when you blow in them, when you whirl them, when you fit them together, and when you don't keep an eye on them. Well, have 
have nightmares? Yeah. He does have nightmares? Really? Every night? No. Let's stand up, Derek, and let's take a look at that. A medical examination of each child is essential to the program. Well, you're getting some new ones there, too. A child who needs glasses can't learn to read. And look over this direction. I see the... A child who can't hear is unable to compete with those who can. Put your hands way up above your head, way up high. Most Head Start children have never seen or been seen by a doctor until now. You want to sit up here now? And then we have to give you a little shot too, Derek. A shot, Derek. Okay. I'm looking. You're a brave boy. Oh, that's it. There, all done. There. All done. Dental examinations, too, are part of the new experience. The new caring. Isabel, do you have a toothbrush at home? You miss no toothbrush. Suppose your mother gets you a toothbrush, Isabel? I wish you'd ask her because some of your teeth need to be brushed. See, they're getting all dirty. Yes, my, yes, my toothbrush. Your sister has it? Oh, no, you must have a toothbrush of your very own to brush your teeth every time you eat at home. You ask your mother if you can't get a toothbrush. And, Isabel, you know you have holes in your teeth. You'll have to ask your mother to take you to your dentist. Do you? Uh, mm -hmm. Don't you want to go to the dentist? Hunger weakens and demoralizes. And far too many children don't have enough to eat. At all Head Start centers, a snack or hot lunch is served. For children who come from homes where there's no conversation, learning comes hard. Without words, life is bewildering. Books can be useful and exciting, but first you must be properly introduced to them. What's that? A necklace. A necklace made out of something pretty. And here's the bell. Here's the bell what she makes up. And the bell would wake her up is right. And what's that? A bird. A, a bee, right. And you have to be careful of it. From bees, bees can hurt you. Each day brings new adventures that teach a child new words. And new ways of sharing. That's right. Is that what is that is that what your picture is about? The three what? There. Oh, so we can all three little babies. Timothy, will you should come up and show us, baby bear? Baby bear. Baby. Baby. What size is baby bear? Little. Little. Right. little. What's another word for little? A tiny. Good. Tiny. Okay, tiny. 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 Too soft. And then where up stairs and then the sun. Somebody's been sleeping in my bed. Who was up in there? Oh. And then and the mother bed said, somebody's sleeping in my bed. And then they called the police. And <laughs> Let's let uh, Robert have it. Can you hold him gently? Can I hold him? Can you hold him gently? How does a child learn to overcome suspicion and fear of what's new? Let me scratch you. Here, you take him. Take him like this with both your hands. There. That's right. That way. That's it. Hold him gently. You can't hold him. Just put him up. Put him up. If he's never held a guinea pig, why shouldn't he be scared? In time, with a wise and sympathetic teacher, he'll outgrow his fear. There, that's the way. After him, can I have a chance? Can you pet him? Yeah. 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 All right. We... Ricky sits withdrawn and guarded. How can he be persuaded that these strangers are his friends? To hold him real gently so you don't squeeze anything. Thank you. And Lynn. 
how can she be given confidence to speak? He's snuggling. He's snuggling right in your neck. Can you hear that squeak? It's going to squeak, squeak, squeak. The Head Start ideal is to have a teacher and two assistants for every 15 children. In this way, the very young and unsure get the kind of loving attention that's impossible in a large classroom. A sympathetic teacher can work miracles with a withdrawn child when she has the time for him alone. Ricky standing back there alone still isn't ready to join the group. time. Now Ricky spends hours building a railroad with new friends. Head Start has its extroverts too. to live by rules, and these are the days to learn some of them. Okay, what am I doing? The line. Very nice. Good. Stop. All right, stop sign. Stop. Hold it. Right here, yeah, you take the big one. Okay. Big one. Very nice. Good. Back of the line. Very nice. Oh, thank you. Oh, you got to stop. Even dressing up is more than just play. It's a way of learning how grown-ups act and of trying their world on for size. Being examined by a doctor may be a frightening experience, but pretending to be a doctor can help a child to overcome his fear. can be friends instead of people who must always say no. Head Start cares about the whole family. It reaches beyond the child to parents who may not understand their children's needs. It works with them to create an atmosphere of understanding and trust in the home. Well, 
Parents begin to learn about their children and about themselves. When Esther Ruth brings home a picture, why, to me, it's the beautiful, most pretty picture I ever saw. And I put it up on the wall. And uh, I believe that helps her. Many parents are given jobs right. as teachers' assistants, and a new career is opened up for them. Maybe we ought to start with that. She, of course, Tony's her boy, so she's feeling a lot of things. I mean, tell us what you feel. What's the problem? When I try to tell him something, no, I don't want to do this it. Is not you know why? Is, should Tony suffer because his mother's in the room? Should he? Of course yes. not. Right. Mm -hmm. And when if he has a problem, he is going to come to you, and you should let him come. But if it's beyond control, then you hand it over to somebody. There are also thousands of unpaid volunteers working in the kitchens driving the children to classes, helping on the playgrounds. Many of the volunteers are young people. The Neighborhood Youth Corps is a great help. They understand because their own troubled childhood is not far behind them. Head Start doesn't accomplish miracles, but in community after community, it changes the spirit of the neighborhood. People get to know each other. They go on outings such as this, from New York's east side to Staten Island. It's a short distance as the crow flies, but to some, it's like going to the moon. So foreign is it to their own experience. two cultures mingle, the parents may start classes of their own. Some to learn English, others to learn Spanish. All to understand each other better. Fruta. So fruit. Fruit. Repeat. May I have some fruit? Fruit. Repeat. May I have some fruit? As the Head Start program develops, family problems and hardships are discovered. Nine children and two parents. And how many rooms are in the apartment? Four. Four rooms. Tell her that on Bellevue South, in the whole Bellevue South, there are only going to be two five-bedroom apartments. And one of them I want to get for her. But it's going to be about two and a half years before the building is finished and ready. And I'll explain that much I'll tell you more. Dentro de dos años, dos años y medio, van a hacer este nuevo building aquí. En este building me va a haber nada más que dos apartamentos con cinco. We have a clinic in Head Start for our parents. And we ask the parents to come with any kinds of problems. Housing, clothing, welfare. If a father needs a job, whatever the family problem is, we ask them to come and talk to us about it. And in the course of the clinic, several of the families who live on the site have come with some of their problems, and I wish that you, I think you could help us sure. find them. Now, this is one family, which is a very unusual situation because they have nine children and two parents living in four rooms. Uh, they have applied for public housing, and I hope that when the public housing goes up on the site, they'll get one of the two five-bedroom apartments. It's a very fine family. However, until that goes up, I wonder if it wouldn't be possible we'll give them two apartments that are next to each other until they can move into the public housing. So family uh, problems are the concern of Head Start because whatever affects the family affects the child. In Ruston, Louisiana, the Head Start people have found a woman with seven children, with no income, living in this ramshackle house. The well water is polluted. The only heat comes from the fireplace. In the kitchen, there is no stove.
Neighbors in the Head Start program pitch in and she and her children are moved to something better. Not ideal, but a start just the same. One of the many rewards of Head Start is the creation of better understanding between teacher and parents. And naturally, when a child sees his mother being friendly, he becomes friendly. A mother who works in the California fields gives a Head Start teacher a gift of vegetables she has picked, a gift of appreciation and goodwill. Head Start helps people help themselves. They can discover the joy of working together. They can come to know each other, to make new friends, and to lose old prejudices. the children take away something. More than just a paper bag full of treasures, they take the discovery of books, of songs and stories, of knowing there are people who really understand and care. The family receives something, guidance, a new feeling that they can do something to change their own lives. When school begins, the children of Head Start will not enter as bewildered strangers. The climb out of poverty is long and hard, but these children and their families have begun, and behind them there are more, hundreds of thousands more, who given the chance to help themselves will have a head start for tomorrow. Bicycle, the 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 bicyc